Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about FET. Yeah, FET has further confirmed my wave count um, with a break below $2.75. FET confirmed further that the last rally in three waves, as you can see there on the chart, was just a high B wave. We talked about it in yesterday's video and I highlighted specifically to you that in this initial move to the upside, the 1.236 Fibonacci extension level, which was the next target, was slightly missed by, I don't know, 20 cents or something. So it is sometimes the case then that when these waves, which should reach certain targets, well, don't, that the B wave in the correction does it for them, okay? And that actually happened apparently. And I highlighted to you, okay, it, it is possible that this is a B wave, but we need to see a break below 275 to confirm that. Now we've seen that. So what I can do, I can take the micro support area out now. Uh, it was our signal that the C wave seems to be unfolding and now it's getting interesting because with that information that we had an A wave to the downside which bottomed locally on the 19th of March, 20th of March here in the support region, we have that. We have the B wave which topped locally here at the next FIB level, basically it just rallied from support into the previously defined resistance level. Um, with that information we can calculate now a target for the C wave. So first of all, let me tidy that up. The C wave to the downside, and I'm talking about wave C of four. Yeah, the yellow count is possible, but not the preferred one. So let's focus on the white count in which we are now in a wave C to the downside. Difficult to say, you know, what exact micro, strong, uh, micro count applies here in wave C, but possibly one, two, three. We might be in a third now, wave, th wave three of C. And actually, let, let me change the wave degree there. So something like that. What we, however, should probably do in addition is to calculate the ideal targets for wave C, because we can do that by using the information from the A wave length and where the B wave topped. How do we do that? You'll probably know that. We take the length of wave A, we go to the high of the B wave and it takes us to, as a first level to watch, the $2.39 level. And that might be even the, I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, but it could be the first area where it might be reasonable to look for some long positions. Um, you know what, I will take the yellow support zone off the chart. It keeps it cleaner like this and they overlap anyway. So this is the more specific one because this starts at $2.40 basically, $2.39. That's the first level, that's the 100% extension level. That is the first level where FET could show, well, it could show a reaction anywhere, but this is the first level where it is likely that it's going to show a reaction. Not only that, um, it probably really will, not only because it's the 100% extension, but also because this is previous support. So you can see it here, these swing lows from Friday and Saturday, they were all formed at the 239 level, 240 level. So that's something interesting. Also, we had here a little bit of support here. So it seems to be an important sort of level around 230, 240, um, especially here, the ones from Saturday. I mean, this is a smaller degree, right? It's not like massive support, but pay attention to it. It's quite important. And then we could still get another four, five pattern in wave C and that might drive us down to 220 or $2.08, $1.91 next. Um, it's possible that we don't get this four, five pattern and then it's just a W, X, Y structure. That's possible. So what I essentially say is we could possibly see a so-called running flat here in which the C wave ends above the A wave. That's what I would assume. Um, but then again, you know, we have to give the price space technically across the entire larger support zone as highlighted in orange, possibly all the way down to $1.28. And my message has been quite consistent. As long as we're holding 128, the price should reach $4.72 next. That is still valid. Okay. Uh, we simply haven't started likely this fifth wave to the upside. We haven't started it yet, which should take us there. And I'm still going to look for it and watch for it as long as we're holding $1.28. But I'm not telling you we come down to $1.28. It actually seems that we might, um, yeah, maybe only 
maybe only come down to $1.91, maybe $1.59, but that already seems quite deep for this correction. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.